This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, I'm your host Derek Somer, and today we're going to create the Cat Daddy Mojito. It's a sidebar, you might not be able to find Cat Daddy in places like Europe, I don't know. It's made in North Carolina, I think. It's Carolina Moonshine, Can let's see. Can we even find it around here? North Carolina. You can't even find it here, that's right. Fans sent us this. So, uh, I know people from North Carolina who have this at home. If you could find it, you might actually be able to get it online if you have things shipped to you in the United States. When it gets outside, Canada, I have no idea. Uh, but I did promise that we do more of these recipes because we haven't done enough to qualify, I don't think, for our three, maybe. Turns out, there's not a lot of them. This is one of the ones, I, I don't even know, I, I found it or an idea of how to create it, and I don't even remember where it was, but it's a mojito, but it's using Cat Daddy. I was curious, so I figured I'd give it a try. It's kind of a, what would you call this? That'd be interesting. Um, it's kind of like almost an egg eggnog like yeah. smell to it. It's it's supposed to be like it's not really moonshine. It's not I don't know moonshine's the connotation of moonshine is like basically like a high proof vodka I think. But this is much more refined. It's got a flavor like its own spicy unique it's not flavor. Not really vodka. It's more like a no. liqueur I'd say. I, I don't really know. I mean what I don't the, know if that's really what it is, but that's kind of what it, it reminds stands me. alone as its own product. There you go. Never been reproduced. At least I've never seen. So, in classic mojito style, I cut me some uh, mint leaves. So we're gonna do five to six, which is pretty standardized, I think, for mojito-like drinks. Three, I think I got a few extra here. But these are kind of small. I think someone's attempting to shoot fireworks off. Yeah, it's apparently firework night. They must have forgot what month, that, or time Eight. of the month it is. Still July. I guess. Smells good. Okay, so we're gonna do an ounce of lime on top of our. Oh, look it, from another show. An ounce of I wonder lime. Wonder how that happened. I don't know. Now this is probably just under an ounce because I sliced off a piece for a lime wheel of a different episode. <laughs> but come on, cut me some slack, right? Nope. No slack. We're gonna do a half ounce of simple syrup. Put those together. This should taste interesting. It should. It will definitely... I mean, realistically, if you take a spirit... The muddler. If you take a spirit and you just put these, this specific base into it, a little little bit of uh, club soda on the top to spring it up, it's a mojito of some type. Not all will be good. Gin mojito? Maybe not. Chocolate vodka mojito? Probably not. Ew. <laughs> oh, actually, fruit. that may be okay. Mint chocolate? Yeah. Aviv mojito? That'd be tasty. Uh, shoshu. Minus the club sh soda, though. You know what might also be neat is a little elderflower. That might be a little sensory overload. I don't really know. But the end result is I need to fi find uh, some time to make some cat daddy recipes because <laughs> nobody else has. Nobody else seems to. There are like three, but they were like, they were from Tales of the Cocktail that we went to a couple years ago, which I think is happening the week this is uh, taping or coming out. Uh, but they're like basil and strawberries and it, yeah. it gets a little weird. Wait, don't we have fresh basil? Huh? Oh, no, we, we have oregano. Yes, we have oregano. Oh, should have planted some basil. <laughs> I did. It didn't last? <laughs> no. Oh. I'm bad at making basil, apparently, because it it didn't go so, so well. We got cucumbers. We do have cucumbers. We can make cucumber cocktails. There are a couple. What the hell am I doing? There are a couple cucumber based cocktails that might be pretty good. We've done one before, haven't we? Um, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we have done cucumber cocktails in the past. There you go. I'm gonna stir this a little bit. Get some of that sweet mint to rise up. Top it. I mean, it should be refreshing. Tasty? I don't know. If you like Cat Daddy, you're probably going to like it. 
can't imagine you add the ingredients in the taste bad. No, but it kind of smells like a, almost like vanilla eggnog for some reason. <sighs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I like it. Again, it's all based on the fact that you could find this. Bring, bring in that like, do they even tell you what those flavor? I don't think they even tell you. Copper pot still, something good, tasty, blah, 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 blah. I, I don't really know what to say, but it tastes nice. It says um, over mm -hmm. ice with juice or mix with your favorite pop. Pop. They, they just use that word because they're from North Carolina. Um, flavorful. It, it has that mint, that that mojito mint sweetness with the like a subtle, like, a, oh, I gotta say eggnog. I don't know what else I could be. Like, Cat Daddy. It's got the essence of Cat Daddy. So I like it because I like the essence of Cat Daddy. I like it a lot. EverydayDrinkers.tv, I like that a lot too. Yes, yes we do. Yes we do. I'm teaching you how to drink. I got mint. Thanks. Aaron. In my mouth. <laughs>